So new house, new decor, new placement for decor. Um, I'm kind of thinking that maybe a grouping of those. <laughs> I didn't realize how many I had. I'd always had my wooden swans on top of this, but I, I don't know. I don't know. You know, I just kind of want to change it up a little bit, though. I love my swans, but I love my aged wood. Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. <laughs> Are you ready for some more decorating with me? So today I'm in my living room. So I don't know about you all, but that might be one of the hardest spaces um, for me to decorate. You know, you got your cabinets, you got your kitchen, you know, you have pieces and parts that you know where they go and what will fit into the cabinet. But the living room, I'm you know, at nighttime, that is one of our biggest areas um, to sit in front of the TV, watch a little TV, do some distressing before you go to bed. So one of the hardest places for me is like where the TV goes. Oh my goodness. So back in the day, I loved the entertainment centers with the bookshelves and all the little spaces to be able to put my little... <laughs> little treasures but now we have flat screens they hang on the wall hmm <laughs> what do you do for that right y'all so in today's video I'm going to share with you I like to make that space interesting while Chris is watching TV I'm usually editing I'm usually responding to emails or to comments or making my shorts yeah y'all i do it all both channels that i am the editing i am the editing crew so my sitting down time is not necessarily always watching tv as it is i do everything on my phone so i'm just sitting on the couch with him just yeah doing a lot of editing and a lot of answering back a lot of searching for inspiration so i want the space when i look up from my phone to look pretty so i want to enjoy the view so in our old home we had this beautiful palette wall that chris built now the palette wall character in this house um doesn't really fit the vibe of this room because this room has some amazing trim around the windows floor to link almost almost ceiling to link floor windows and the one thing that i left in here um the homeowner that we bought the house from already had curtains now there's four windows in here so four that'd be eight curtains which you know curtains are not cheap yeah i can make them but it's all about time so I was kind of trying to match my decor up. They're pretty neutral, but not a, not necessarily something that I necessarily would have picked myself. So with that being said, I wanted to match up my decor. And I do have one other of my hutches in this room. I was able, we were able after we got their couch in and a chair in, and then we did have the space. Cause of course you want your like your little entertainment center and i did have a space for one more china hutch i was so excited so excited and before i even got to finish the reveal of this i changed my mind on one of the areas oh and i told chris i wasn't going to do that i told him that i was really going to think hard where i was putting something on the wall and i wasn't going to change it lies it was just lies lies i can't help it when you're when you are somebody who is a thrifter and you're a secondhand shopper isn't that what we do we kind of upgrade <laughs> so we like a piece a little bit better i will share with you our couch our tv and like the dvr vcr are the only things in this whole room that have been purchased new Everything else is a secondhand find, a thrift store find, an estate find, a auction find, wherever it may be that we could find something for decor. I love the hunt. So let me stop jabbering on and let's get into decorating. 
If there could be an upside on moving, which it is a lot of work, y'all. I underestimated it. And packing your life and all your treasures up into boxes is opening the boxes. And I don't know about you all, I'm like, I just love to look at every little find that I packed away. And I'm like, it's like Christmas Day for me. I'm like, oh, I remember that clock. I remember getting this seltzer bottle. I remember, you know, and I just, ah. Though now I have to find a place for it all over again. I have some of my baby bends, my big bend, my baby bend. May not make sense right now, but I'll just keep adding pieces in till I like it. It all, doesn't all have to be iron stone. I can put some of the crockery in here, I hope, and then mix it together. So all my old stuff is all together. are really old bottles. I know that this one's broken, but look at it. It's got the original stopper with it. Um, yeah, so I know it's broken, but sometimes you keep that brokenness. So I have some really old paint brushes. Love the patina of these. have to be anything in anything okay so I decided on this shelf that I've had for 20 years maybe <laughs> it's been every color under the sun and now it is white but I love the thought of being able to hang stuff off of it here in the living room but I had to make a good decision because the walls are textured in here so if you all know, that's a pain in the butt to have to spackle over. So, oh, here we go. Drilling into a stud on this one. I don't think I'll put too heavy of, heavy of stuff on here, but. That'll look right. Level. So the next up is going to be this clock, but this clock is solid wood, it's super heavy. Um, gonna center it in between these curtains, but there's no stud. So like the shelf, he was able to drill the screws into a stud, which will support it. But since it won't, he'll, he's going to have to use a drywall anchor to support the weight of this heavy clock. So that is the difference between, you know, just screwing into drywall, which, you know, you have to figure out if your item is heavy or not. If it's heavy, then you need an anchor, like this clock heavy tobacco basket or something like that, light, you, you know, not so bad, but this heavy item, you want to use a drywall anchor. How high up do you want? The... You're gonna have some cleanup. Yep. Apparently, her whole hole wasn't centered. <laughs> nope. But we were covering her up, so I didn't notice that hole. So I love that Chris is always so precise. He measures, he levels, he securely hangs it into a stud or hangs it into with a drywall anchor. And then there's me putting a thumbtack for this <laughs> tobacco basket and just, just eyeballing it.
I have always loved this white shelf, but I love that thrifted piece of salvage. So I was trying to make the two pieces come together by another piece of salvage on the shelf itself. And then just playing in with some decor, trying to make it all flow. So here I am convincing Chris that it is okay to take that shelf down to put my new garage sale shelf up. And I really wanted to love the space, but I just, I didn't. It didn't bring a smile. I just looked unfinished. It didn't all flow. I wanted to, I wanted that salvage fine. I wanted the shelf. I have minimal wall space. I wanted so many elements I wanted, but I didn't love it. It just, it didn't necessarily cause me anxiety, but it wasn't like, oh, that is finished. That's what should be there. So, yep. What a good man he is. <laughs> he is. When I said I wasn't going to take anything down, I was really going to wisely make my decision of what I was going to put up. But then there was the garage sale and I found that beautiful shelf. So pick this up at the US 12 garage sales, $15. It is, it is a old piece. You can tell by where the hinge was. It's an old door, bottom, top piece, some piece. So somebody added some corbels, some trim, and a old piece of wood. Is it perfect? Nope, need to dust it. But see how it's, like I said, it's an old piece of wood, but it's the painting that I would do. It is the distress, the black, love it, love it. And I think it's the black that needed to be in this room to tie in the rest of the house. So the fun working on this space is having to get on top of the couch, <laughs> balancing, and then, yeah, and then putting the decor on. It's, it's a leg workout day. It's a leg workout. So, yeah, I'll get this all dusted. I already washed it. It was pretty filthy when I bought it. But, yeah. So, first thing I need to do, I could... This is why I didn't want to change out my decor. Is because the walls are textured. So, my bad, my bad, right off the bat. Right off the bat, I took... I took something down, <sighs> but it'll be up here for a while here, y'all. You have a piece that I want to put, and it's just a thumbtack. <laughs> I know, it's just a thumbtack. But this is a sign that I got off an Instagram account idea. So she is perfectly in perfect furniture, and she had a sign, an older sign that she had made. So this is a piece of pallet wood, a salvage piece of trim, and then I cricketed out every different font to make it that perfectly perfect. So it's not heavy. It's not heavy. And previously, before taking that down, I didn't have a place for my sign. And I feel like that that is me. That is speaks about me so I really wanted to figure out how to add it in. So one of the elements in this room that we wanted to keep was this beautiful window and shutters that Chris made. So the thing that's unique about this window is if you can see it's kind of a bluish tint in the glass which goes with that antique blue glass, those bottles. I just hung a simple green wreath off of it a long little hook. It actually is a hook that's supposed to have a candle in it that I got from an auction haul, but I needed a long, I needed something long, and then I remembered I had that and never sold it. So the blue glass goes wonderful because of this piece. So it was actually going to go in the kitchen, but the problem with that was up and down on the ladder, there's Peach. Hi, Peach. Tell everybody hi. <laughs> Up and down on the ladder. Um, and then trying to center 
everything, all three pieces trained to center. That's not the easiest ta task at all. And it may not be, it may be off center just a hair bit, but it would have been way harder when you had to get up and down a 15 foot ladder. 12 foot, 12 foot ladder. It would have been way harder if you had to get up and down a 12 foot ladder. So Chris was very willing to do it. And I told him, don't worry about it. I want my window. I want to be able to see it. Thank you. So I chose to put it here in this room. There's enough space. Both sides of the window are not the same size. And that way I didn't have to worry about him going up and down on a ladder. So at the time I'm like, you know, maybe God willing, I'll run across another tobacco basket that's similar. And then we can just put those on both sides. They're classic. They could stay up there. We'll see if we find one. So now that I have my little shelf up, I'm going to start adding some of the decor. So, you know, at a recent haul at auction, I did get some of these yummy colored bottles. So they go wonderful with that glass, but which also goes with these curtains. So that's an element in my old house that I would never have done. So you got a kind of a greenish and you kind of got a bluish, which as you know, see, it goes with that glass. So I didn't have to buy eight new panels of curtaining. Curtaining? Curt eight, yeah, the curtaining. <laughs> is that a word? I'm not sure. Curtaining, I'm not sure if curtaining is a word, but I didn't have to buy eight panels of curtains, <laughs> you know, y'all, because that can start really, adding up. I mean, two's difficult enough, four's difficult, and then eight. Eight is a lot. Eight is a lot of curtains because a lot of times they don't sell them in sets. They will sell them singly. It's like buying a pillow off Amazon and you, it comes and it's just the pillowcase and you're like, oh, well, that's just the case. <laughs> that's not the pillow. I should have read that a little bit better. And by each window, there is a poof, <laughs> you know, one of those footstools. And look at Peach is enjoying that view, um, being able to look out the window. His other places, his other places, he likes to sit right on this corner, but God forbid you put a blanket down because then he will not, he will not sit on the blanket. And that's some darn satellite dish out there that we need to, it needs to be sent on its way, it doesn't even work. But yes, both in our old house, we had two poofs. So perfect for Peach to look out and sit and see whatever he wants. When the air is on, of course, the window would not be open. So the poof is perfect for him to sit on. So I don't want to cover up my wording. We're going to go ahead and put another bottle. Now, they, this, these bottles are really not as blue as the other ones that are in my hutches or on there. But it's okay because that those two green ones that came in the lot that I bought are perfect because they go with the curtains. So my next element, which did not look good on that white shelf and that salvaged piece of wood, are my smaller little Bible book stacks. Love those pieces, love those pieces. So I do have a couple Big Ben and a Baby Ben clock I want to add in here. A salvaged piece and some more of those decor, I call them decor, workout juggling weights that I will be adding in. So see the wood of these ties in the wood of the sign. Then it kind of tears. I didn't really want to go terribly high, higher than what the window was. I would have liked to have brought it down more, but then that's too low towards the couch. You know, it's all that symmetry, but each individual spot I'm treating as its own, its own. So then I have, yep, I, not only do I sell them, but I also decorate with them some Big Ben clocks. Let me go ahead and slide that over. Need to slide this over. You'll see why in a second. And some more height, just these salvage finials. Max didn't even know when he was selling me these that <laughs> they were going to be part of my decor. I didn't know either, but they were the perfect patina of wood. 
So got some height going on there, ties in with those, but it's not too over tall to cover up the sign. Just a nice little finial. And for another little touch of the wood for some height in that space, another finial, smaller one right there. And then I sh chose to keep this beautiful lamb that I got in a box with another little beaver, wooden beaver for $3. I love the, I love that he yellowed or that's the color he was. Oh, I love it. So I have one more element I'm going to put right here is this <laughs> cow's tag. Now the plastic ones are thicker, so it did not fit in a metal flower frog. So I really had to search and search for something that would ha make it stand up. So this is an old, <laughs> this is an old um, stamp from one of the vintage stamp sets. And I put double stick tape on that, double stick tape on the tag itself. So put piece on both sides. And now I have that little element of a number, which the numbers then go with the clock numbers, which then makes the whole little vignette work. So, yep, it all just works. It's not terribly higher than the window. No, it's not down as low as what this piece is. But when he was hanging it, it just didn't look right being that low, especially when Chris is six foot four sitting on the couch. You know, you have to think about people sitting on the couch. We do have, Chris made years ago, a little table, little couch, sofa table that has plug-ins. So that's nice. You can charge and plug your, plug your um, plugs to charge your phone, your laptop, what have you. And it was always made for the longer part of the couch. So that's just a nice feature. So there's definitely some upgrades in this house that Chris and I probably wouldn't spend the money on, but they're nice to have. Don't call me cheap. Okay, yeah, so cheap. So this. So you can make the room nice and dark or you can lighten it right up. It's a two-way blind. I had never even know, I didn't even know they made such a thing. So when you want it to be all dark, you just close them. <laughs> I, I really, I did not have any clue that there was such a thing like that. Just a piece of PV screw. PVC. Fingers in. I'm not really sure how long ago I thrifted this piece. I know that I picked it up at the Salvation Army for $24. It was really ugly painted badly painted, so I repainted it with Dixie Bell's drop cloth and distressed it. It That bad boy is cast iron, y'all. <laughs> this barn is heavy. So it had three animals with it, and I, uh, yeah, and an uh, extra cat. <laughs> and, um, so, yes, um, yeah. So I painted those, I distressed those. Um, peach is not going to fit into that. But when I was at Joanne's going out of business sale, I found a cast iron ram. Now it is not the same age as what the other three animals are, but when you look up the set, this was the piece that it was missing. It was missing a sheep and it most of the pictures showed a ram you can tell like the older pieces the cast iron isn't 
fully together and like the newer piece well i don't know it is i mean there's a little bit of a line there but i was si excited to have the four four of the pieces that were supposed to be there so i just need to paint this little guy up like i did these and i still have drop cloth in my stash i love that color it's a beautiful creamy creamy color So first of all, we share, we'll share with you how we hid the cords. Love being able to hide the cords. So then now we have a sound bar, we have a VCR, a whole bunch of remotes that apparently go to something, to go to something. Something they go to. <laughs> um, Chris would know, I do, I never know. Let me see if I can adjust this. So what I'm gonna share with you is this old box and it just by chance <laughs> on this matches so i actually removed the front cover flip it upside down <gasps> hiding most of it bringing it forward Let's figure out which side went back to which side Ta-da! Now you can't even see that. I don't know about you all. It's not like you use your DVD player very often. And if you do, just do that. There's your remotes. You know where your remotes are. You can hide them now. So now I have my main focal point. Woohoo! So I like to start off with my big pieces. And for this, I want to see... In my other house, I did not have a place for this beautiful cast iron farm barn. This is the barn part. So I didn't get to enjoy it as much as I wanted to, but I know it was a piece that I wanted to keep. And it is super heavy. So it fits on top of the box. It fits on top of the box. I just absolutely love it. I <laughs> love it. <sighs> So now, and one, it will cover a, more of, even though you don't see that on the back wall where the cords are hiding, it covers that. I've got my height in the middle. So another one of my treasures you all know are my crockeries. And this bad boy, that this bad boy doesn't necessarily color-wise go with a lot of my other color crockery though it's beautiful it is pretty much pristine there's no cracks or anything so it's going to go tucked back here not that it falls off but i'm going to push it as far back as i could go it's just a beautiful crockery jug with a wonderful number and like these putting them so let me get down here so putting these type of jugs on top of my cabinetry the problem was from down above, you didn't see the number. It was up. The number's kind of up. It's not in the face of it. So I didn't end up putting a lot of jugs like this because I wanted to see the numbering. I wanted to see the stenciling, you know, or if it had a swirl, I wanted to be able to see that part of that detail of the crockery. So I, down at this level, we can see that beautiful number. So it's the same thing with this crockery. It, this one does not match any of the other colors I have. It's got the beautiful numbers on it. And they don't necessarily have to match because I have enough. They're not standing by hanging out with each other. Oop, let me not lose my bracelet though. It, ha it does have a weird clasp, but it still doesn't fall off luckily. There, try again. So love, love this crock. And the, there again, I'm going to push it. I'm going to center that sound bar. I'm going to push it as far back as I can go for right now. And now I'm going to fill in with my other loves. My other loves. So do y'all. So do y'all know what my other loves are? <laughs> Bye, Bells. Ah, 
it's amazing when we moved how many Bibles I had um, also that it was sent that were given to me as gifts and I treasure every one of them and they are just sprinkled throughout our home and every time I look at an old Bible it just warms my heart so it's something that um, yeah I just couldn't get I needed to fit into my decor and especially my everyday decor that I will be looking at. So, so I've got a nice little Bible stack going on here. Now this one isn't as black, but that's okay because it matches the brown on here. So now I need some more height, but no, I did not leave. <laughs> I didn't leave all those um, juggling pins, exercise pins on top of that cupboard. It was funny when you're you're moving the next thing you know you have you know you I don't know how the, everything just got kind of organized into like <laughs> like things especially when we were I was bringing them out of totes that you don't realize how many you have until you start putting them all in a box. So I'm going to bring in some more wood elements which they don't have to match and I really I don't want them to match. So I'm going to do the same over here. So I already, I already have an idea of what I wanted here. So to go with that worn Bible over there, I have this worn Bible. And then I have another Bible book stack. But on this one, I'm going to tip them this way just a little bit more visual. It doesn't have to be the same direction by any means. I have a couple more wooden features. We got a bowling pin and then I have, I think this was a weight, you know, an exercise. So there again, because these two don't match and these two don't match, it's a perfect grouping. So now I do have a big piece that's going to come over here. So it is a black fan. Love this piece. I don't care that it doesn't work. I don't care that it's broken. I love the metal. I would never want it to work because my gosh, you're going to cut your hand off. <laughs> so um, I think my dough bowl for right now is going to stay back there. I need to move this box. I changed that out for something. So don't worry about that area right now to see the final reveal. So now to off center that, I need something with a little bit of height here and I just so happened to have thrifted at the garage sales. This was an estate sale find. This was a garage sale find. Some of those blue patina bottles. Love those. And then I'm going to bring in some more patina. Chris picked me up this jar so I wanted to make sure that I fit this in. And then I used to have a um, printer's drawer that had some of these letters that I was collecting that were flatter. Um, I could not fit that into my decor in this house, so I put those in there so if I find more, I can fill it up. So I'm going to set that back there. And then I have a couple more little, little blue bottles that I'm going to go ahead and put over here. So now it's the fun of adding the animals. Yes. These were a terrible color when I thrifted it. It would have been painted multiple times. So I wanted to keep it neutral. And I know you thought I would paint it white, but I love the color drop cloth. So because the horse is tall, he's going to go here. My cow's a little bit bigger. I love that you can see the screw. I love that. So he's going to go over here. My little piggy is going to go down here. And then my new addition of the ram. Did he not turn out wonderful? Because rams like to climb. He's going to go over here and if I get, when I get the rooster, he will probably go here or over there somewhere. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Then my final is this little for rent sign. It is old. When I started to touch it, it started disintegrating, like just falling apart. So I ended up having to tape it. I don't care. I like it. And is this not adorable? Not adorable. Oh my gosh. So now if you want a whole view of this cabinet, I could redo it. I could strip it. 
but I don't want to. It's got some nice drawers for storage. We have some extra blankets in that cubby drawer, door area. And then I just, this, I love it. I love this view. So when we're in the living room, watching TV, or I'm doing work on my phone, this is the view I get to see. I know I'm supposed to see that, but I wanna see this. <laughs> I wanna th see this. And I love looking at my dough bowl. I love that it has height up there. And I did actually have um, an old ladder back here, but then I thought it was just much too busy. So I'm trying to do the Canna Maximus do minimalist type, <laughs> type of decor. So thank you so much for watching today's video, y'all. Yep, I changed my mind. I love that black. That I That's probably what I wasn't liking about it. I really wanted that salvage piece, but it did not match my shelf enough that it kind of just stuck out there. And the black goes with the black on our chairs with our table. The black goes with the bench that's in underneath with my crockery. So I'm all trying to, since this is one big flowy house, bowling alley house, I want to, I want to make sure that there's an element in each one of these three rooms that kind of ties in together. And I was so excited to be able to 
have one of my china hutches so I could have some more of my yummy treasures and that big old chest I don't know what it was for but it does make a beautiful entertainment center to um yeah you know you have to if by chance we were going to watch a DVD, DVR, DVD, 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 is that what it's called? <laughs> or use anything like that. It's nice to have one kind of hidden. So I hope I shared with you a little bit of how to hide some of your electronics. I love the cord hider. Oh my gosh, a hundred times. I love, you know, you know what it is, but at least it's blending and you're not seeing all that black. And that box, I used that box in my other house. Loved it. Saved that front panel. You can tuck it right away. You can take it off when you need to. Another place to put all my yummy treasures and God wink moment that I found a cast iron ram that fit in with my little farmhouse. And I did order... Um, when I was looking this that piece up, that cast iron farm up, that I thrifted many, many. <laughs> no, I don't even know when I thrifted it. I'd have to go back on the channel because it was here on the on the other channel where I thrifted it. But I did end up ordering a rooster. I just felt like it was missing its rooster. I don't know what the original set looks like because when I like Google lensed it, I could tell a lot of people had added pieces to it so like two horses two pigs they weren't the same color anything like that but I love that piece and I wanted to figure out how to make it fit in a space where I could enjoy it enjoy it my fan my crockery that little for rent sign is that not the cutest all my little ironstone treasures and with my wooden pieces and my blue bottle my blue bottles that match my little bracelet I just you know that's what I always say, you know, make your house your home. Make it what makes you happy. Not everybody's taste is the same, and that is perfectly okay. If we all went in and we all had cookie-cutter houses and we all decorated the same, what would you get to win out about, y'all? But it's also that inspiration of seeing somebody else's decor um, I know I do it. I'm like, oh, well, I like that. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna be on the hunt for one of those pieces and see if I, you know, it's the treasure hunting, especially for us thrift store shoppers that you know secondhand finds. We just, you know, it's the thrill of the hunt. And when you find it, you're like, score. <laughs> but anyway, so I hope you enjoyed. I hope I have inspired you in any way, and I hope that you're able, you know, to go secondhand shopping via whatever way it is, garage sales, yard sales, estate sales, auctions, thrift stores. There's, I, there's so many ways to buy secondhand and keep your home decorating on a budget. And like the farmhouse, the little cast iron farmhouse, if it's not your color, just paint it, just paint it. So thanks again for watching guys and we will see you next time and you can see what we're up to. Bye.